Welcome to another edition of Would You Rather. Today we are going to argue, would you rather get punched once in the gut by a UFC champion or get kicked in the shin by an 8-year-old for 25 seconds? I will be arguing the 8-year-old kicking me in the shins and uh, Yom will be arguing the UFC champion punching him in the gut. I will start things off. You see... Little kids, they do have a lot of pent-up anger, and they can kick pretty hard. But I think my shins could handle it. Although I do have a lot of cushioning on my gut, somebody punching me with that much force, I might rupture a spleen or something, or he might hit to the side and take out a kidney, or... Basically, I could have a lot more medical problems if a UFC champion punched me in the gut rather than a kid kicking me in the shins. My shins will heal. I can't really heal internal bleeding as well as I could with putting, you know, ice packs on my knees, on my on my shins, you know. I'd rather get punched in the stomach once than have a little kid just wail on my shins for 25 seconds. Because, really, after years of skateboarding, my shins are just beat and always kind of hurt. I mean, I get hit in the shin, it looks like I got shot in the shin. I go down, I'm a crying mess. It's horrible and embarrassing, but I feel you need to know this for the sake of my argument. Plus, you know, you know when the guy's going to go up and hit you. He's going to give you fair warning as with a little kid, but you can't tense up your shins to kind of absorb some of that impact. You do that. Plus, you can do that with your abs. You know, kind of soften the blow a little bit. Plus, if you rupture a spleen, you can have a really cool surgery and have a really cool scar. And chicks dig scars. You see, it says the kid's gonna kick you in the shins. So... He's going to alternate between shins. So really, you're only having like 12 and a half seconds each shin. So you can handle that, 12 and a half seconds of being kicked in the shin. I haven't done years of skateboarding. I tried skateboarding for a couple of weeks. I failed miserably. Don't care to get on a board again. So for all the non-skateboarders out there, wouldn't you rather get kicked in the shin? The whole shin thing doesn't necessarily apply to people who skateboard. It also applies to anybody who has had a history of shin splints. So anybody who ran or runs a lot, you will get to know them. (laughs) They hurt. (laughs) You will spend time rubbing your shins and hoping they go away. And a little kid has no real concept of time. It's a little kid. He's probably going to wail on one shin... And then somebody's going to start counting down from five, and then he's going to switch to the other one. So, you're going to lose one of them. He's going to he's gonna beat one of them into a bloody pulp. So, that's just not fun. Oh, boy, no. Final argument. The shins can withstand a lot more abuse. I don't have the stomach to handle a punch like that. And... Let's say after that time is up, after he's done kicking my shins, I can scare the kid off. I can chase him away. With a UFC fighter, you get mad at him, he'll punch you again. So maybe it's two punches in the gut. It's not some random event. This is set up. I'm not going to be able to scare the little kid away. I'm not going to try to pick a fight with the dude who just punched me in the stomach. Plus, you know, I'm walking around at 205. I want one of the little welterweight dudes, one of the little girly men, to punch me in the stomach. No offense to the little lighter weight dudes, because you will rock my world. So, in essence, I would rather take one punch to the stomach, have my spleen root, have a badass scar so I can show off the chicks and get laid with, than have some weird story to tell about how I had an eight-year-old kick me in the shin for half a minute.